Hello you guys, welcome to Kingdom Living Way where Lord resides and God is on the move. So glad you could join me today. Believing all is well, amen, amen. Trying to adjust to this warm weather. So glad to um, be able to come here to share the word with you guys. And don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. As you share the word of God, it's going across and abroad the land to other people. So you are contributing when you share this word. Amen. You are connected when you share this word. You are connecting yourself with what God is doing in the earth. Amen. Amen. So, and also um, to all the new subscribers, we welcome you, and don't forget to tell us where you're coming from. Amen, amen, and I thank you guys for how you are engaging in the channel. I love it, I love it, I love it. Because see, when you guys give your comments and testimonies, you're helping other people, whether you believe it or not, or whether you see it or not. Because people do read comments. I, I read a lot of comments you know, and other things that I'm searching or looking at, because you find a lot within the comments, a lot of information that can help you in the comments, you know. So anyway, I'm going to get on with this word. What I want to talk about, and it's to encourage you guys, you know, warfare has intense, like never before, right and it's gonna be more intense but we have to trust on the one our father god to help us and take care of us and equip us in the things that we need so you know many of us are going through this and that we come out of one thing we in another we come out of this and something else before you can get out of good something else doesn't happen you got another phone call or or you got a bad doctor's report or whatever it is, but it's one thing after another. I just want to let me say this scripture. Eyes had in 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Eyes has not seen, nor ear has heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man. The things God has prepared for them that love him. Okay? That's encouragement. Okay, so you're going through one thing after another, after another, after another. You can't, before you can get up good, something done hit you and knock you back down. Or before you can move around, you got to sit down a little bit. Say, wait, hold, wait a minute, what did you say? You know, so what I want to let you know that your testimony is in what you're going through. There's a testimony within what you're going through, your this and your that. There's a testimony in that. Instead of saying, I'm going through this and I'm going through that, you're going to be saying, God has been blessing me after blessing, after blessing, after blessing, after blessings. See, God is setting you up. That's what I want to tell you. God is setting you up. Mm -hmm. He's setting you up for greater 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 and as i told you guys earlier one of my videos the attacks that you've been under is against your destinies your attacks are against your destiny where god is trying to take you where god is taking you and you are so close you guys you are close do you realize how close you are let me tell you how you can realize how close you are. Think about all these attacks you've been going through, all this warfare. That'll let you know God is up to something. Something is about to happen. Something greater lies ahead. God is shifting you to settle you. Sometimes I repeat things over for a reason. God is shifting you to settle you. And the enemy, your enemies, they're all mad. They're big, 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 
big big they're big mad they are so mad they're so mad they can't even sleep at night mm. wondering about what you doing where you going your next move see you guys that's why you can't put everything on social media you can't tell everything see they don't the enemy want to know your your next move I'll tell you how he want to know your next move he want to know your next move so bad he's sending monitoring spirits uh-huh monitoring spirits is to see what's going on in your life oh yeah they are real you guys they are real but you got to rebuke those re uh, monitoring spirits uh-huh some of them are monitoring spirits or people that are close to you. They're watching. I want to see what how she going to respond. I want to see how she going to react. What's she doing now? It's nothing wrong with being concerned about people. I wonder how so-and-so is. I went to school with them. I went to church with them. But you can tell that's a difference when somebody just want to be in your business. You know, want to be in your business. But we need to learn how to hold things. Don't get an enemy. Uh, up a hand on you by telling too much of your business because they're going to come and try to block you sometimes that's why the blocks are there because we open our mouth too much we post too much say too much but anyway I'm not saying don't post and say things but just be careful you guys just be careful but anyway the enemy is mad he is so so mad but one thing about when God is shifting us and he's settling us, we have to go through this phase. We have to go to, through a phase of trials and tribulation. See, within the trials and tribulation, God want to see, can I trust you? See, see, after you done went through your trials and tribulations, that's a level of trust that God has within you. How you go through. See, see, he gonna, he wanna, when he shift you to your place, he wanna be able to trust you there. You got that, he want to trust you there. Think about it. A lot of times, God cannot trust us where we are at. You know, we, we wavering and we not where we supposed to be. So we go through these trials, out of these trials and tribulation that we go through, that's, that's, that's a, uh, he building, building with inside of us. And then he's like, okay, now they've been through this. Now I can trust them to handle this assignment. Mm. They have the strength. They had a the momentum. They had the capacity. They, they stood the tests of time. They stood the trials and tribulation. They're stronger now. Now I can trust you. Mm -hmm. See, that's all in the plan, you guys. When you get got to get to the place where God can trust us. And then he will release us to our place of destiny. He will release us to these assignments. He will release us to our promised land. See, the more intense the warfare... The greater the anointing. The more intense the warfare, the greater the anointing. And the greater the anointing, the greater the assignment. The greater the, the, the assignment, the greater the outcome. The greater the outcome is the greater reward. Your greater reward in heaven mm, 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 mm. see we need to also make a greater impact I don't think I said that one gotta have a greater impact within these as well see what you've been through can increase your in impact mm -hmm. you ain't been through nothing uh, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, that's no impact but the more you've been through my God, you can tell people some things. Not only that, but when you've been through things, God, at times, he drops anointing on you. I've said this earlier before. He will drop an anointing on you sometime because of what you've been through. But see, you needed that anointing for particular reasons. Uh-huh. Because that's a place God want to send you, and you need that anointing. Uh-huh. So, we must follow God's direction and his instructions. Follow his leading. 
And the right door will lead you to your place of blessings. Your place of blessings. I'm going to give an example. Do you know when um, people have parties or particular types of celebrations, they will put balloons, they will tie balloons up in the ceiling. They will, they will um, get them all in the ceiling and put them in some kind of uh, net. And they will uh, have them taped up some kind of way or tacked up in the ceiling. You know, for a celebration or whatever. You have no clue the balloons are up there, right? Because you don't, you don't be looking all the way up in the ceilings. And some, a few people might look up there, but most majority of us don't have a, a clue that they are up there. And when, they, when there's a particular time in the celebration, they will release the balloons, okay? See, <clears throat> your blessings that's been held up, mm, is connected to your door. Mm. My God, my God. Your blessings that's been held up is connected to your door. This door belongs to you. The door that you are to walk in. And see, this is a door of blessings. See, see, you know when, I'm going to give an example. You know, you've seen uh, show, TV shows and things like this on TV where Someone will open the door and it's be a strain connected to the door. And they have some, uh, maybe a paint bucket or something up there. When they open the door, the paint will spill all over the face or whatever, water, whatever. This That's an example of what God gave me. When you open your door, your door is connected. And it lined it up with the string of heaven. Mm. It's connected. Your blessing is connected to heaven. And when you open up this door, this assigned door that God has for you, your blessing will fall down. These are blessings that have been held up just for you. God will release these blessings when you walk through your door. So you guys, you got to go through this door. To get these blessings. You got to follow instructions. Listen to God guidance. Oof. Mm. For this blessing to fall down. I seen this. God revealed this to me. Open door blessings. Open door blessings. Are for you. As I've always said. You got to get in alignment. Mm. Follow God's word. Follow his guidance. Be obedient to the word of God. He say go, you go. He say no, no. See, your blessing is connected to your door. God got a door for you. God got a door for you, you guys. Your blessings is at the door. Mm. I love you guys so much. Take care. Until next time, be blessed.